Welcome back, brothers and sisters. So I'm gonna just read what I have wrote um, um, in my notes, what the Holy Spirit have spoke to my heart. If a father would have to leave his children in the wilderness for a while by themselves, as though the father still there watching them at all time, but the children cannot see his father. This father, before he leave, he will make sure his children is fully protected. He would have taught them how to defend themselves from wild animals, how to shelter themselves from storms and rains. He'd also give them all the weapons that they need to protect themselves. So for this child, so for this child to defend himself, first. He need to realize that although he cannot see his father, but his father is watching him at all time, and he has power to defeat any enemy that is coming to his way. He trusts that his father will rescue him whenever his life is in real danger. That no matter how scary the enemy seems, and darkness, um, and darkness, um, can attack him. His father is much more powerful. No one can messes with his father. Secondly, the child need to realize that the father has already given him suitable weapons and trained him for the skill he need to defeat. His enemies by himself, but it's important for the child to draw this weapon and to use it to put his training in practice. To realize that he is his father's child, he has got his father's power in him. A weapon is no use if it's not used. The red, the father has going. The father has given power and authority to the to his child. The child just need to just need to really believe and remember his true identity. Don't let the fear of the enemy taken control of him. This child has the spirit of his father. The spirit will guide this child. The spirit has eyes everywhere. The spirit will be his communication between him and his father. The spirit will be able to help him to finish the job that the father has appointed him to do. The power and authority we have within us. We have, first, the teeth of the lion. That can chew through any flesh and bone. Secondly, the horn of an ox, that can stab the heart of an of the enemy. Third, the wings of an eagle, that can go high and low, can see all of his enemies. The wings of an eagle are powerful, and the eagles often use them with grateful skill. Eagles know how to climb high into the air without working too hard. They can swoop down on prey of incredible speeds, and once they have caught it, they can lift very heavy prey into the air. So please read, um, Ezekiel verse twelve and thirteen. Each one went straight ahead. Wherever the spirit would go, they would go without turning as they went. The appearance of the living creatures was like burning coals of fire, or like torches. So, what's this verses mean? This is how the saints carry out God's will in the last days, with the anointed holy fire that is burning within us. Around us, whoever that is in our way, it will be burned. 
The wheel with the eyes represent the Holy Spirit. The Spirit will guide us to which direction we should go. He will update us with God's plan. He will instruct us with our Father's will. He is the transporter, moves from one to another. He is a communication between the heavenly reign and the earthly reign, also between the body of Christ. We have the secret. Direct line to the throne of our heavenly Father. We are the torch and burning coal in the last, um, in the last days. Like this living angelic creature, cherubim is a servant of the throne. We are the servant of God on earth. We are the earthly cherubim, who has the same power as the heavenly one. Right now, the heaven is open. His glory, His Holy Spirit, is fully powered, is fully poured out on all of His chosen ones. This is why hundreds and thousands of people prophesy and dream dreams every day, because God's mighty hand is on all of His servants. This morning, God spoke to my heart. He said, "My people, you have trusted my power. You have not under underestimated my power. Now it's time for you to trust my love for you. Do not underestimate my love for you. You are my last day warriors. I will not send you to the battlefield without weapon." I have given you everything you need to kill. I have fought for you. Now it's time for you to fight for me, for my name. Fight for me with my spirit, with my power, with my authority, with my fire. Remember, before you put your battle armor on. Shower yourself with the blood of Jesus, then you are righteous. Make sure you are righteous and holy in my eye, cause only the righteous are truly mine, and the righteous always wins. They are undefeatable. So this is the end. I want to Anna say um, that there is no not in a million year I could understand this chapter without the Holy Spirit. So first, I want to thank the Holy Spirit, and this has confirmed everything God have taught me. It is all. It is all. It is from Him, cause I, you know, when I started my first video, I I had doubt. I had so much doubt because I don't know if I am, if I I am truly doing God's will. Although I had doubt, but I just knew if I don't do it, I'm not gonna have any peace in my heart. I'm not gonna able to sleep, to eat. I'm just gonna. I'm just. I just can't live with my conscience. This is the truth, and this is the only reason I started this channel. But, um, over the times, the more I do, the more God's confirmed His message to me through the Scripture and through other brothers and sisters and the love and the compassion you have showed me. Um, I am so humbled. I do not know. I do not know what I done to deserve all of this. All I know is God's grace. God's grace is what guided me here. Is why I am here. So, with all my heart, with all my heart, I just want to thank you, Father. Thank you for all your love, all your grace. Thank you to give me the wonderful brothers and sisters. To not judge me, but to accept me for who I am. And thank you for this daily update, to to equip me with everything that we need to 
to go to the battle to fight for you. Father, now, Father, now we are ready, cause I know what I have got. I have got the teeth of the lion, the horn of an ox, the wings of an eagle, and the power and authority given by the Son of Man, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. I'm ready for anything, and I'm willing to die for you, to walk into it through any storm or any fire for you, because I know. Not even one single hair will be harmed on me, cause you are my protection. You are my protection. So I just want to quickly go to why my favorite. My favorite to end the days. I want to go to my favorite <laughs> chapter, Psalm ninety one, and I want to start from six. I think you should have read the whole, the whole chapter. But I'm just gonna start from six. Sorry, five. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand. But it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. So imagine you are in the middle, the center of the fire, or a stone, or tomato, anything. Everything else is a mess. Everything else is going wrong, but you. In the center, you are protected by this dome, this winds of angels. The dome they fold a dome around you. You, your light shines throughout the darkness, and you have such peace, such peace in your heart, that you are not afraid at all. But in, but you are there. Calm and quiet and peaceful, and sleep like a baby. And this how is how I imagined how I'm gonna face the darkness hours, the dark hours. If you make the Most High your dwelling, even the Lord who is my refuge, then no harm will befall you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. How amazing! The Lord will personally send his angels concerning you to protect not just you but your whole household. So trust, trust his word. I have doubt all the time, but I doubt myself. Imagine when you—I don't know if you have played this game. My husband want to play it with me. That he stand behind me and he ask me to fall down, to fall onto him. It is very scary, but I do it because I trust my husband. I know who he is, and I know he will, he will catch me. So this is the confidence you need to have in our Lord, even though you don't trust yourself, and we should not trust ourselves because we are only human. It is okay to doubt because we are only human. We are we are walking in darkness. We are blind, but we have God who is not blind, who is our guidance, who is our eye. And he communicated with us through the Holy Spirit. So as long as we follow the Holy Spirit, we are not in darkness. We are not walking in darkness like the others do. We will be totally fine, totally fine. I know many of you experience doubt, anxiety, and 
it is okay. The Lord understand because you are flesh and bone. But the only thing the Lord to ask you is on even when you doubt everything, doubt yourself. You even when you are scared, even when you doubt everything, you still follow His guidance. You still hold, allow Him to hold your right hand. You still would fall back, even though you are scared. Even when you are falling, you still doubt, but you still do it. You force yourself to do it because you trust He is real. You trust the fool. He is who he said he is, and that is faith. That is true faith. Faith is not about having no doubt. Then it's easy. Faith is about having doubt and still believe. Still do exactly what our Lord commands us to do. So if you have doubt, do not feel bad. This is faith. True faith. True faith, true faith is about doubt. Even when you doubt, you still do what the Lord asks you to do. True bravery is about even when you fail, you still go, go, go face the enemy, the darkness. That is real courage and bravery. I was scared to death when I started to. When I decide to force myself to put myself out here on YouTube to 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 tell my dream, I was scared to death when the night I sent the 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 my video to all my family, my friends. I went through the storm, and I got over it, and it's not too bad. The Lord got me; He's got all of us because He loved me. Said the Lord, "I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. It is as simple as that. Because he loves me. Because he loves me. This is why I will protect him. This is why I will rescue him. So I ask you, brothers and sisters, today, have you loved the Lord?" Today, have you give your heart to the Lord? Today, have you ask for His forgiveness through Jesus Christ? Today, today, have you allowed Him to guide you through the storms and the darkness? Today, have you accept His love, mercy, and grace? Because He is always there for you. He have never moved. He's waiting for you. His hands always out for you. All you need to do is to trust His love. His love is what gonna keep you alive. All you need to do is stop beating yourself up to be the person He wants you to be. He created you to be, to come back to Him. He is so forgiven. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. I was was blessed, but now I'm found. Was lost, but now I see. Thank you. Keep me, keep all of us, the body of Christ, under your love and your mercy. Your mercy, Father, we love you. We love you so much, and we know 
This is all we need. This is all we need is to love you with all our heart, our soul, our mind, our strength, and to add love. All humans, all of others, as Jesus has loved me. In Jesus' name, I say this.